Easy there, friend. Pardon me? Apologies. Partner? Mister. Ah, you supplies to sell. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay then. Yes, yes, half the neighborhood here uses that. If your uh, troubles are of a more sensitive nature, I assure you, you can tell me in strictest confidence. Couldn't find it? Patients who can't get through a day without it.
maniac! Can't you just do it? Gentlemen. Evening. Hello there, mister. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. 
I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. Hey, you better follow that order, right? <laughs>
Right here, girl. This one ain't supposed to be here! You think that fence is up for fun? Get off this property now! Hey! Hey! I'm just a tourist! Braithwaite Manor, ain't it? Get uh, Miss Penelope inside! Uh, uh.
Wait, girl. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, I guess I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. My girl.
It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> Won't take long. Easy there. Okay, Go then. drink some moonshine, you damn lout! Yep. You stay off our land, <laughs> goddamn freaking Same goes for you, you sons of bitches! <laughs> Out of the way! <laughs> goddamn breakweights sneaking about here! <laughs> Move it, goddammit! Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just passing through. Don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. Great family business. Coming through. You're good. Well, 
That was something else. You're a brave girl. Stay. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There they are! Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from... Certain elements, mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Woo! 
We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and now, we fetch now. the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. But I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, easy there. Give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Go home. Shut your mouth. What the hell is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Wow. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. Sir? What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Yes, Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, well, you always were. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speech? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know.
This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Mount up, all right. I'm f For me to Rhodes. Been a while, girl. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through. We cook the food now, and we now. the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, and maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it, but I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. Oh, it's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, easy there. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Uh, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on. Go home! Go home. Go Shut down. your mouth! What you what the hell is going on? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. 
Gotta go before me think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. But a land of the future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. Well, I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. Let's go, girl.
God damn you okay? drunk horse couldn't pay no attention. You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? I guess. Thank you, sir. It's gonna be so rough tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> good money for what? Yep. There we go. Yep. Slow it up.
You all right, girl? Yeah. Easy now. Arthur? Don't go Arthur. too close to the water hey, here, Arthur. Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? Good boy. Hello there. You can rest now, girl. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? <sighs> Perhaps. I'm so worried. Arthur, can, can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or 
You get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. Yep. How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through it. Every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to... I hear. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid! And we won't do anything unkind. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, <sighs> Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Uh, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Up ahead. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! yeah, yeah. There's a whole lot of them back there. You wait, you sons of bitches! Light a shot, boys! Get rid of these sons of bitches! Come on, come on! Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history! How loud I know! Come on, Arthur! You're getting away! Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's. Now you suck. Come on. We need to lose. 
Stay until dark, then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Hey, hey, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Give him hell, boys! You're breathing your uh, last shit! Friend. Watch out, Arthur! Watch it, Charles! More on the rock right here! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone and up to security! We got more of the bastards on this side! Move, Bill! Ah! This fella really don't like getting raw! Done, Bill. They teach you to In the army, too? Can't you keep your back beat still for ten goddamn seconds? You gotta be into this. God damn it, they're coming in this way now. Cornwall for a while. I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. All right.
You got another surefire plan for us, Uncle? Everyone still breathing? I am! You would be! Out of the way, Uncle! up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. How many of you does it- oh. Oh. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand.
this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're, you're right or my right? right. You see anything? Not yet. Guess we should go give him a hand. Get the hell off me! Arthur! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. Really, those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. Whoa! 
Bell still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our back. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Back here right now. Yep. You stop right where you are. I'm gonna shoot you down! I will! This ain't a disgust. Ah! <laughs> Anyone moves, I go blink before I shoot you. Hurry up in there. Don't. Get out of here Please. before the cavalry comes. Wagons up. Move out. If anyone comes after us, 
They'll be met with a short and nasty end. I swear it. Don't try. The Lemoyne Raiders is a multitude. Believe us. Yeah. We in. That's really. It's all right. They're gone now. Can't do nothing about that. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's stead. It's a North of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell.
This man. He understands. There, girl. Easy, easy.
Hey, partner. Oh! Help me. Easy. Someone Whoa. help me. Okay, mister. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Oh, oh, oh you need to drink this. Suck them in It'll a mouth. Oh. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. I, 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 out here, no more. Uh... Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Slow up now. Yeah. Let's get you looking good. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Ledger, watch, pistol.
Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Okay, where is all this old crap? Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Paw, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Ah, 
trap door, huh? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, oh God damn it. damn it! Come on, man! Where are you going? Come on! Get you! Uh. At least try. What you doing? Man. Let's make this quick, this man. One more. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Just a stinking pistol. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Light's fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God.
be the pistol. Easy. Okay there. Yeah. There we go. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. 
forgot about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just, it's all, it's all going to hell. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old oh, man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What are off. you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. Yeah. You all right, girl? Yeah, you good, girl? Hey there, mister. Easy now. Boy. 
Howdy, fellers. Morning, pardon. Oh, mister. <laughs> no need to get physical with me anymore. All right, let's just be adults about this. Hello, sir. Glad to have a new patron come through. Oh, good, a new patron. Welcome, welcome. fought tooth and nail for this territory, and here's you just strolling through. This town's a tinderbox, and you might be the spark, you understand? You ever been in the army? Hmm, didn't think so. I killed a lot of folk to keep this town free. Happy to add you to the list. Out of my sight!
Hello there. Okay there? Hey! You're not allowed in there! <clears throat> no horseplay, you My lord! Man. Something new. Your money's always safe with us. I promise. <laughs> Easy there. There. Here we are, all in one piece, too. Thanks, mister. You helped me out. Morning to you.
Easy. I couldn't have drawn it prettier, no sir. You can't turn me in! This ain't stuff! Yeah, this will keep me good, that's for sure. Oh, uh, hey mister! Remember me? Come on over! How you doing today? Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Oh, thanks. Be well, friend.
You rest up here, girl. Come on in. Just arrived? You arrange a bath. All right, head on over when you're ready.
Nothing like a good bath, huh? Can I get a room, please? Room's ready whenever you need. I need a wash. You got a bath? All right. Head on over when you're ready. Can I get a hand in here, please? Perfect. You can leave it to me. Whenever you're done, just say the word. You let me know if you need a scrub anywhere else. Oh, I'm glad of this. It's been a hard few days. Oh, you don't say. So, how's it going with you? Not too bad. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Oh, sure. All right, I think that should do it. You take care.
You're getting old. Old and kind of no wonder they all leave you sour. You ain't fooling no one. Keep it moving! 